Hey YouTube, last January uh, I went to start the house backup generator <clears throat> during one of its quarterly test runs and it also happened to be one of the coldest days of the year and I had trouble getting the uh, gasoline powered generator to fire. Uh, obviously the gasoline wasn't vaporizing enough due to how cold it was and I really struggled. I eventually got it started but it was a, a pain in the butt. Um, so I got to thinking, well, what's the best way to get stuff to start? I've got snow blowers, generators, and <clears throat> every once in a while one of those little power equipment devices just does not like cold weather. And, um, starting fluid's always an option, but it's liquid, and, and now that can be difficult. You can run out of it and not be able to get it. So I got to thinking, and I got to thinking, and I was like, ah, what if we used propane? <coughs> as a starting fluid. I mean, the gas grill is always available. I've always got two or three cylinders of propane around. And so I started keeping an eye out uh, on trash day for the neighborhood garbage disposal when folks threw out their rusted grills. And lo and behold, I came up with, and just cut off, this is the regulator part, and just cut it off at the, at the rubber end when it goes into the burners, put a di quick disconnect on it, and obviously you can extend it with uh, with other air tools, but then you've got this nice little doodad right here. And lo and behold, I got starting fluid. So propane starting fluid, basically starting fluid on steroids. That should take care of my cold weather starting issues from now on. Thanks.